Oh, we got a purple in here too. Oh yeah. Oh, we got a weapon. Yo, we got an assault rifle. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys the assault rifle, and this is something that I actually got in a co-op session uh, with a friend of mine, Afflicted Gamer. He also is a content creator that does the Division and the Division Two content, and we were just hanging out and playing this game. And through his progression, uh, we were able to find a small secret room where the assault rifle was actually in. Now the area where we found this, and I don't know because everything is procedurally generated in this game, is in a forest area. So on exploration, on looking around, there was a hidden room where we just walked in on and there was a purple item. We picked it up. It happened to be the assault rifle. Now, this rifle is actually pretty cool. And based on our use, it wasn't anything much of a game changer, but it was something that was good enough to actually add to your arsenal. And, you know, something that you'll probably be using if you're maybe in a pinch or depending on how you like to prioritize your uh, weapon use. So the assault rifle doesn't do as much damage as like your shotgun or your hunting rifle but because it has 24 rounds in the mag it can do a lot of sustained damage and you know maybe if you're trying to clear mobs it can actually do a good job its rate of fire is you know obviously in many games like this slower than your smg which is actually in my opinion better for clearing you know small you know ads and small trash mobs um but anyways i think it's something that you can enjoy so pick up the weapon upgrade it and you know you see if it will fit your play style in our estimation the way we were playing I don't think it's something that fit my playstyle for my primary weapon to take over my hunting rifle because I prefer the hunting rifle because of the way my build is. My build is designed for a lot of critical uh, damage, a lot of crit chance, and so I'm able to really hit some really ha hard shots. And even for my uh, handgun, I like using the hunting pistol, but when we're in a really tough situation, I just found out that the hunting pistol doesn't really help me. Instead, the repeater pistol or the SMG have been my go-to weapons, but then in you know, depending on the scenario and, you know, playing co-op yesterday also helped me to really explore uh, how well I wanted to use my weapons. And so when you're playing co-op and when you're playing, uh, you know, solo, you're going to actually do things in a different way. So I'm thinking perhaps the assault rifle will probably work better for me in a solo session when I'm running by myself and I need a lot of burst damage or I encounter a boss that does have a lot of, you know, speed to them. And so I can burst them down and do a lot more damage based on my build. But in a co-op session yesterday, it just made so much sense to be able to do a lot of damage. I was running my hunting pistol and I was also running uh, my uh, hunting uh, rifle as well, which really was putting out a lot of damage. I mean, my hunting pistol uh, is doing over 100 damage. In some cases, like I've mentioned in my other videos, it does about 200 damage. And then my hunting rifle as well can also do some really cool damage. My hunting pistol also actually does more per bullet damage than any weapon that I have currently in the game. I do not have the shotgun yet because I haven't progressed in my own session that much, but I was, you know, progressing in on his session, uh, sorry, walking with his progression, uh, Afflicted Gamer, that is to say, it was actually really fun to actually discover. So if it's something that you want to pick up, keep an eye out for it. And, you know, the game is procedurally generated, but I think largely the weapons might appear to be in similar areas so far, uh, or maybe they're in different areas. So if you run across it, let me know in the comment section, or if you're really interested in getting it and you finally get your hands on it, let me know what you think about it. That's all I have for today. Thank you very much for your time and your audience. And if you want some more Remnant from the Ashes content, don't forget to subscribe. I guess I'll see you in the next video. Peace.